A couple days after the Senate passed the Inflation Reduction Act, I had a chance to talk to Tom Rollins Reese, the head of research for North America at Bloomberg NEF, New Energy Finance. Uh, Tom had some great insight on what this means, not just for reducing emissions in the United States, but for the world, for the fight against climate change. I get a certain amount of sympathy for Joe Biden when he's, or, or any US president that's taking part in, in climate negotiations. The, 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 the sort of, the example I use to make my point, if, you are, if you'll indulge me, sure. is, you know, almost a hundred years ago, or actually sort of slightly more, we think about Woodrow Wilson and the League of Nations. Then instead of climate change, the big issue was world peace. And he had a great vision on you know, how we could fix this. And he basically designed this project. It was his idea, the League of Nations. He won the Nobel Prize for the idea, the American president. And then the Senate voted against the US joining the League of Nations and the whole project failed. Um, and I think there's two parallels here. One is the fact that as a US president, you, um, you're kind of negotiating with one hand tied behind your back. You can have intentions and sincerely mean what you're saying, but the truth is you still have to go through a complicated legislative process that has lots of failure points um, and to, to actually get stuff passed in a meaningful way. Um, so that's that's one point, and that's basically what happened to Woodrow Wilson, got vetoed by the Senate despite his leadership. And then the second point, the second parallel is that the whole kind of global climate negotiation push doesn't really hold together unless the US is really on board and whether other parties genuinely believe the US's commitments um, because the US historically has more emissions than any other country, it's the world's biggest country economically speaking. Um, so if there's, if there's no US, if the US is not credible in climate negotiations, then those climate negotiations are not credible, um, full stop. So the fact that we've seen, even if it's not perfect, the U.S. president or the, 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 the yeah, the, the U.S. government has managed to follow through on some of the ambition that has been articulated is pretty significant because it signals to other countries that the U.S. is not just going to always talk a good game and then get bogged down in politics back home, um, that it's showing that actually the U.S. is capable of taking action. And that has a knock-on effect for a lot of the negotiations generally. Yeah. 